and family, welcome this evening to Wednesday night Bible study. We hope and pray that things are going well for you and your family in your neck of the woods. This evening is going to be a little bit different. We are in the midst of our Sunday school campaign here at Bible Way. Each September, we start a new year in our Sunday school going from September to August. And so we are registering students now for our Sunday school. Matter of fact, we no longer call it Sunday school here, we call it life group because we are doing life together. The thing about Sunday school, every class is like a little small church. And so people, they celebrate birthdays together. They celebrate anniversaries together. They celebrate different happy times together. But they also celebrate funerals and what have you, those, those sad times. It goes from uh, a wedding. Matter of fact, we have done a wedding and a funeral all in the same day because life goes on. Life goes on. And I have with me today some students, some students here from our adult Sunday school class. And I want to start, matter of fact, let me ask all of you to introduce yourself to our audience this evening. Um, my name is uh, Sheila Williams, and I'm a member of the Survivors class. Amen. I'm Deidre Johnson, and I'm a member of the Proclaimers class. All right. I'm Rashawn Taylor, and I'm a member of the Impact class, where both men and women are 10. Amen. My name is Juan Gallego, and I attend Driven. I don't remember the Driven. Amen. All right. All right. Um, Sister Sheila, um, what was the name of your class again? The Survivors. The Survivors class. Um, Tell us a little something about the survival class. What you like about that class? Okay, well, it's a, first of all, it's an amazing group of women. It has really helped me so much in my walk, in my life, the stuff that I'm going through. It has really convicted me to make some better choices, make the right choices, make great choices, even though I knew in the back of my mind that some of the things that I was doing was not the right way. So really by them, by reading the Bible and Sunday school lesson and coming there has really helped me a lot in my walk in Christian life. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, you know, in family feud, they always clap when people <laughs> give an answer. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. All right. We'll continue. My class is the Proclaimers class. And what I like about my class is it is exactly what the name says. We are the Proclaimers. Um, my teacher, um, original teacher was Mother Nelson. And that was mm. the one thing she instilled in us. Go out and talk about Jesus. Talk about God. Tell the people who Jesus is and who God is. And now we have uh, Sister Mendoza, who is our teacher. And she reads that word and gives us that word to help us to be able to go out and proclaim the word. Uh, the other thing I really like is we're a group of women that we talk life. Man. And she allows us to talk life. One thing that we say, what we say in our class stays in our class. And Man. I can testify that I've never heard anything that I've said come back to me from somewhere else. So Man. it's just a really good class, a nice group of women who love the Lord, who are studying that word and proclaiming that word to other people. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have uh, Brother Rashad here, but uh, uh, Sister, I believe you have to go on an yes. Yes. Okay, so you are excused at this time. Uh, God bless you. Have right, a safe you. drive. Yeah. Um, I attend Brother Howard's impact class, and uh, one thing that I really love about that class uh, is the fact that it's both men and women, so we're not just hearing the perspective of just all men. We also get it from women as well. And like, mm. um, so and that's not, a co-ed class. That's a co-ed class and I really love it because it's just not the things that men are going through. I also learn some of the things that women go through in their daily life 
following the Lord. And it was good, man. Brother Howard, he always preaches about how everybody who follows the Lord is connected. So many times, the times that I've went, because my children get me up and make me come to Sunday school, the times I went, whatever Brother Howard is speaking about, I know he hasn't talked to you, but come right here to <laughs> class and you say the same exact thing. And I was like, Brother Howard. And our Sunday morning. And that Sunday morning. Preaching. Preaching. Say the same exact thing, and he hasn't rehearsed nothing with you, and I know it. Because he'll tell me, like, hey, you that see how when I say something in Sunday school, how connected we are, it yeah. comes right out in our Sunday service. And I really liked it because it's about life and how it impacts them all. Really that is an amazing thing. Yeah. I hear that Sunday after Sunday. Pastor, you was in our Sunday school class. What you preached about was the same thing we talked about. It, it, it went along. We was talking about unity in our Sunday school class, and you preached about unity. <laughs> A different text, but basically the theme was still the same. Yeah. But that's how God works. He makes all things work together yeah. for the good. All right. Give us your name again. Juan Villegas. Uh, Brother Juan. Sir. All right. I, I attend uh, Tim's uh, Tim Driven Classroom, and it's just young adults and men and women. So you just come together and talk about God, like our young, you know, our young life. Like, he, he's one of the reasons I am a big believer in God now, like him and coming to church, like in, I'm just so, it's so, un we just unify. Yeah. We, like you said, we celebrate birthday, celebrate, and we're pretty much just a big happy family yeah. there. And that's what we want. We want to build a church, not just a community, but a church within ourselves and our mind. Our, we all just think alike. And we just want to welcome when people come in, young adults especially, because a lot of times young adults, they want to go, you know, party and, do different things, extra activities, but uh, I mean, the best thing I think, for me, my advice to other people, younger those is to come be a part of, you know, with God, walk with God, yeah. and just love him, because he has everything to offer. And I mean, personally, I couldn't do it without him. Like, I tried to. When I was young, I tried to do a lot of things by myself, but Jesus is the way. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, you say that your class is also a co-ed class yes, with uh, men's and mm -hmm women's and it's uh you would say the ages are college and career yeah, kind of pretty much like from i said about 18 20 to like 30 34 35 around there that area uh -huh. so it's like you get a little bit more people that walk through life a little bit more but then also young people and you know i personally learn from everybody but yeah i think it's a great group just to young adults yeah. people are trying like you know some people have kids some people don't but you're learning from each other and just growing so y'all are growing together so yes, from from what you were saying it seems like it's a lot of excitement in yes, that sir. class uh so it's not a boring thing no, for a person no, no. come in there and just lecture you for an no. hour and then you come to church and get another lecture no. you not say it's not like that no but we talk about like everyday life too like we talk like we talk about each other about each other's problems sometimes and like we just you know, we pray for each other, we celebrate each other, you know, we're there for each other. Like, yeah, we text each other, like, a lot of us have a, with uh, Tim, he has a Devo, we give it to Tim. Now, Tim room. is your teacher. Yes, sir. Tim okay. is my teacher, yes, uh -huh. sir. All right. Yeah. And uh, so y'all text and you get different scriptures and stuff yeah. through the texts and the emails and what yes, have you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And so y'all kind of stay informed on what's going on in the class yes, and praying for one another yes, and sir. stuff. Yes, sir. I mean, it sounds like it's a real good class. It's a family. Yeah. I don't really look at it like a classroom. I'm only like a family. Like we just growing together and we just, you know, loving life every single day. Thanks to God. Awesome. Without God, we're nothing. Amen. Awesome. Amen. All right. Uh, we have another younger adult. <laughs> here give us your name and what a sunday school class you in my name is amber arnold i am in the woman of power and praise sunday school class with sister gillard women's uh, okay so uh, w o what p p p u w yes so sir. that's the wop class the wop class yes sir amen amen class. yes um tell us a little bit about the wop 
class. <laughs> <laughs> well, they sold me on the church, to be honest. I Is married that into right? the church. And I wasn't sure where I belonged because I married into it. And Sister Gilman just pulled me right on in. And that's how I started to feel like I was at home here. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you married into the story. Uh, your husband was a member here. Yes, sir. And you married him. And you came here. And yes, you saying sir. that the Sunday school teacher made you feel welcome here. Yes, sir. Okay. And drew you into her Sunday school class. <laughs> Literally drew me and was like, you're over there, I want you over here. Oh, and I felt just at home right like that. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Now, it, now you're a young lady. Yes, sir. The walk class isn't in a lot of older women's in that class. It is. Yes, sir. It is. But I'm you feel, uh, you're the baby in the class. <laughs> yes, sir, I am. <laughs> but you feel comfortable in that class. I do. Wow, that says a lot right there. Yes, that says a lot. It's exactly what I need in my life. And I need the women, the wisdom. I needed that in my life. You needed time. those wise women yes. <laughs> in your life. I do. Amen. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. All right, all right. Is there anything else anybody want to say before we uh, close down this segment? I would just say, if you're not in a life class, you need to be in a life class. I did not come to church when I was a kid. So I didn't have the foundation that a lot of people have who have been in church all of their lives. So Sunday school is what helped me to be able to learn so that when I came into Sunday service, I understood what's being said to me. It's that Sunday school class where I'm getting that foundation and now I'm able to give that foundation to somebody else because of my life class. All right, all right. Well, I want to thank all of you for coming today. Matter of fact, give yourself a hand. All right, well, that closes out this segment, and we'll move to another segment. Well, God bless you. Stay encouraged and stay in Sunday school, and I know that you will. God bless you. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're still talking about Sunday school. Remember, we are registering uh, our students for our Sunday school. Now, we no longer call it Sunday school here. We call it life group. We're doing life together. But you heard in that first session, we was talking with some students. Now, I want to talk with some amazing teachers here at Bible Way. All right, um, as a matter of fact, let us go around and introduce ourselves first of all, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll uh, interview you one on one. All right, so we'll start right here to my right. Uh, hello, my name is Chantrice Rivago, and I have the pleasure of teaching the elementary life group. Uh, my name is Brother Winston Wayne, and I'm uh, one of the assistant teachers for the Man of Worship Sunday School Life Group class. All right. Hi, I'm Brother Howard, and I am the head teacher of the Impact class, and it's a mixed class with men and women. All right. Reverend Shaq, I have the pleasure of teaching the middle school and high school kids. My name is Barry Booker. I have the I have the honor and the privilege to be an assistant teacher for the Impact class with Brother Howard. All right. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and uh, start again to my right over here, uh, Sister Tracy. Uh, matter of fact, she's also my administrative assistant here. Uh, she wears many hats church secretary, event coordinator. <laughs> she wears many hats here. Uh, so if you need anything, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here at Bible Way, this is the lady that you want to contact. <laughs> but she's also one of our uh, uh, Sunday school teachers here. Um, tell us a little bit about your Sunday school class. Again, what was the uh, grade that you teach? Uh, so elementary, second grade through fifth grade. Second grade through fifth grade. 
And um, the class runs very similar to an adult class, except it's more kid friendly. So we play games, it's very interactive, the kids are up and moving. Um, we talk about life issues that they have in the classroom or at home with their families. Um, and of course, they love snacks. So we start to start end the day with snacks. <laughs> Amen. That sounds like a class I want to be a part of. They start with snacks and end with snacks. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, a lot of times the class may end with snacks, but they don't start with snacks. Do you have to sit there still like a robot? Is, but not in your class. You know, that's why a lot of people that they don't want to really go to Sunday school because they have to just sit still and you got to behave, you know. And, and, and if, 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 <laughs> You know, you behave, then you're going to get a cookie. <laughs> yeah, we may give you a cookie. <laughs> but it's totally different. They have food <laughs> in their class. And so I thank God for your work that you are doing among our elementary kids. Um, Brother Winston. Yes, sir. Now uh, tell us again the name of the, the class. Yes, sir. We're in the uh, Man of Worship Sunday School class. I'm one of the teachers there. Uh, River Gilman is the primary teacher. I'm in his, his assistant. We don't have snacks. <laughs> we don't have snacks. We fell a little short. We, we fell a little short. But we do have coffee. Um, the main thing of a headline about our class is that we believe in getting the students active in our class. It's not a class where the teacher just stands up and talks the whole time. It's a class where we invite everybody to get involved in the lesson. We encourage the man to read the lesson beforehand so that everybody has something to say. And at the end of the class, we do life events as well. Uh, and we have coffee for everybody. Right? And that's pretty much what the man's class. We take any men, but we specialize in 35 and the 35 and the men of worship class. Amen. And Winston, you've been in that class for how long? A long time. Very long time. I don't even know when I started. Uh, Brother Charles was actually the one who led me to the men's class. He was in the class at that time. Actually, when you first came here. Mm -hmm. And so you've been in that class since you... It's been a better part of 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. I was going to say, you grew up in that <laughs> class. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Because you was like uh, uh, Sister Arnold. Uh, Sister Arnold was... You know, was young in her class, mm -hmm. and uh, you was young in your class. Yes, sir. And now you, like you say, you done graduated up to being one of the teachers. Yes, sir. In that class, mm -hmm. and so we thank God for the work that you're doing in that class. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, the coffee smells good. <laughs> The coffee really smells good in that class. Not only on Sunday, when you come in there on Tuesday, you still can I said, boy, they, they really got in some coffee this week. They drunk some coffee. <laughs> you got some coffee drinkers. So if you, if you like coffee and want coffee, you need to come on to the uh, uh, men's uh, uh, worship. All right, all right. Um, let's go on and, and hear about the impact class. Yes, sir. So I'm uh, the teacher of the impact class. Oh, wait a minute. I'm so sorry. We clap for the students, didn't we? Yes. And so we need to clap for our teacher. You know how they do it on family. Amen. All right. All right. All right. So give our sister Teresa a hand. Winston, I hate. All right, now, Brother Howe. All right, so once again, I'm, I'm a teacher of the impact class. I did not start as a, as a teacher. I started out as a student. And one of my prayers was that I wanted to get closer to God. And jokingly, God made me the Sunday school teacher. <laughs> so I've been a Sunday school teacher for, I guess, maybe about five, six years or so. And it's been a blessing in my life. And so in our class, we try to get the context, get the text within the context, and how can we apply this text to our lives? 
and we have a class from like maybe 32 to I'm 50, so I think I might have a few 55s or more in there, but we have a mixed class with a lot of experience in life and with a lot of uh, godly advice to give for one another. And, the, and one of our mottos is the Bible says that iron sharpens iron, therefore a man sharpens another man. And so we come to Sunday school to get sharper. And so that's that's a little bit about our impact class. Amen. I'm Reverend Shaq, Brother Arnold. Uh, I've been, I teach uh, the middle school kids and I teach the teen class. So the high school? The high school and the middle school. Okay. So right. I teach them and one of my main models in my class is that they know the Bible for themselves because the times have really changed since I was in the teen class, mm -hmm. since I've been at Bible Way and how high school is now and the issues that they may come across, they're always gonna come across another school of thought that has nothing to do with what the Bible says. And my main goal in that class is to teach them that they know the Bible for themselves. Mm -hmm. my, in the class model, my class scripture is um, Proverbs 22, verse six, train a child of ways to go, when he is old, will not depart from it. Meaning that it's not only their mission to be trained up, but it's also my responsibility to train them up too. So when they go to the next phase, they'll be ready. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you say it's different. The society, the world is different. Mm -hmm. the, the challenge is a little bit different. The That's children true. grow up a lot faster. Mm -hmm. They experience a lot more things a lot sooner than what you did. Mm -hmm. And yes, so you said it's, it's just imperative now. Yes, sir. That they really get into the Word of God. Yes, sir. Amen. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, actually, Brother Chuck here, he's a product of the Sunday school. Yes, we all are. Amen. That's right. That's right. All of you here went through Sunday school. Uh, our parents was doing a certain work in the church. They made them a a steward or a deacon or something like that. And so we had to be there. We had to be there. Uh, your mom was the piano <laughs> player. Amen. And so your dad was the preacher. Yes, <laughs> was the pastor of yes, the church. And so, yeah. And uh, mom sung in the choir. Amen. I remember you as a little boy. They come in here. Amen. Bless the Lord. All right, we got one more um, of our teacher, uh, teachers here. Uh, Brother Booker, uh, talk to us. Tell us a little bit about yourself and the class. Well, um, part of the impact class, I'm one of the few assistant teachers, part of impact class, where uh, Brother Howard, um, haven't always been a teacher, but Brother Howard saw something or maybe encouraged me or asked me to teach class one day and I said yes and in my studies for the class I found myself um, digging deeper into the lesson uh, going back chapters uh, in the lesson I found out um, in our class there's a lot of transparencies mm -hmm. there's a lot of testimonies mm -hmm. there's a lot of life experiences mm -hmm. and we share we cry you know, we just, and, 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 and we love each other uh, as well. We call each other. Brother Howard would teach us and tell us to uh, read this for our Sunday school class. So it's just been uh, a fantastic for me as I have been a few times, been able to be a teacher in Impact class. I've uh, gotten closer to the word, uh, studying, digging deep and deep and deeper into the scriptures and into the lessons as well and um it's just been an honor and i just thank brother howard for giving me the opportunity and the chance to teach our class in his absence or even when he is there amen amen well, let's give him a hand. so basically you were saying that you have grown 
to be a teacher <laughs> in the class. Uh, I guess a modest a little bit, but yes, I, I guess so. Yes, yes. he does. <laughs> yes, yes, he does. Because, because see, actually what's happening here at Bible Way is the changing of the God. Yeah. A lot of our, a lot of the people that's teaching now, they was not teachers when they first came to class. Yeah. After setting up under the those teachers, some of them the Lord has called home. And some God has called to other ministries here in the church. Some God has called to go elsewhere, and so it opened up opportunity here and so that's one of the beautiful things here in Sunday school you have an opportunity to grow and learn about yourself and you you can see yourself growing you can see yourself uh, blooming uh, but you have to stay planted yes, in order to grow and in order to Bloom. And uh, uh, one of the things I like here at Bible Way, there's opportunity to serve. Sometimes you go to church and you just have to just sit there. And then matter of fact, they even tell you that you just sat until somebody died and then uh, you come on. And that's what a lot of times, even without training, even without training, a lot of times people are stingy when it comes to training others. And sometimes, you know, I used to have a teacher that say, now, I got mine, now you have to get yours. I ain't no just give you everything. Yeah, one, that was a school teacher that taught like that. Yeah, but I think that's wrong. In the church, it should be a discipleship ministry. You should be trained, you should always be training the next generation. You always be training the next generation. All right. Well, thank you for coming in today and uh, talking to us about the Sunday school. Do you recommend that uh, others who are not in Sunday school come on and register now? Oh, yes. Absolutely. 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 Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, since we have the administrative assistant here, tell us how we can go about registering for that class. Hey, if you would like to join a life group, you can go to the website at bibleyirving.com slash events and click on the tab that says life groups. And once you click there, you can sign up for any of the classes that you've heard about today. All right. Well, thank you so kindly. Thank all of you. Give yourself a hand. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I have with me some of our children from our children's Sunday school class as well as some of our uh, teenagers as well as even uh, one of our college, uh, not necessarily a graduate right now, but attending college. Now, in fact, all three of these are going to be in college. But first of all, I want to... Uh, ask our children about their Sunday school class. Uh, are all y'all in Sunday school? Yeah. All y'all go to Sunday school? What's the name of your Sunday school teacher? Uh, Miss Hood. Hood. All right. And what's the name of your Sunday school teacher? Look at that camera and tell us the name of your Sunday school teacher. Miss Hood. Me and Trinity have the same Y'all in the same class? Yeah. All right. And uh, what about your Sunday school teacher? Miss May is your Sunday school teacher. Look in that camera and say, Miss May. Miss May. All right. Look in that camera and tell them. Miss May. Miss May. Now let me ask, I hear that in Miss May's Sunday school class, y'all have snacks. Is that true? <laughs> huh? It is? What kind of snacks y'all have? Like lollipops or fruit snacks, um, sour treats, oranges. Oh, okay. All right. And what kind of snacks y'all have? 
Goldfish and juice. Goldfish and juice. All right, good. Now, do y'all like y'all Sunday school class? Yeah. Y'all do? Y'all like your Sunday school class? All right, all right. And so, uh, in your Sunday school class, kind of what are the ages in there? Uh, seven through eleven. Seven through eleven, all right. And in y'all Sunday school class, it's more kindergarten and, and first grade and second grade, is that it? Kindergarten, because you in there, what grade you in, Simone? You in the second grade, wow! All right, all right, well, well you heard it, ladies and gentlemen, for yourself. Uh, these are some of our children and they are in our Sunday school class. And so I want y'all to tell all of the kids out there, come to our Sunday school. Can y'all shout that out and say, come to our Sunday school class. Can y'all shout that out on three? One, two, three. Come to our Sunday school class. Again. Come to our Sunday school class. Real loud. Come to our Sunday school class. All right, give them a hand. We have some of our high schoolers, and now all three of y'all are going to be going to college. All right, now you're already in college. All right. Um, now, I think you're in the driven class now. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit about your class. Um, I'm in BCG. The teacher is Tim. It's ages 18 to 40, I believe. So we get out of high school to like family ages, we your family, and we meet every Saturday and Sunday too at Sunday school. Oh, so y'all meet on Saturday. Now, what is that Saturday about? Um, it's another Bible study, and we go over, like, during the week, you'll give us a certain scriptures to go over, and we'll um, talk about it for an hour or two, starts at like 10 or 11, and then the next day we'll do a phone call. All right, I hear y'all go out and eat sometime. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, we go out and fellowship. We have a good time. We just hang out with one another and all of the kids and everything. All right, all right. Now, what class are y'all in? Reverend and Shaquille's class. Okay, Reverend Arnold's class. All right, tell us a little bit about Reverend Arnold's class. Now, so speak up so we can get that on the camera there and the mic. Um, our class is starting in middle school, I believe, all the way to high school. Um, she's a teacher. We basically have one-on-one, -on -one, talk about our lives, give us advice, read, um, yeah, read the Bible. <laughs> All right. What, what would you like to say? Um, yeah, this is the same thing. We learn about things that could apply to our daily lives and like in present and future. All right. Okay. Well, thank y'all for taking the time to talk to us today about the Sunday School. Now, y'all gonna be going to the driven class. Is, is that correct? All right, are you looking forward to that? Amen. All right, so we have something here for the young and the old. Uh, from about uh, four years old, all the way, actually even younger than that, I think. Uh, three years old, from about three years old, all the way to the Lord call you home. So uh, come and be a part of our Sunday school. All right, I want y'all to tell them to come to our Sunday school. Come on. Come to our Sunday school. Say it loud. Come to our Sunday school. All right, you heard it for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. They want you to come, they want you to come to Sunday school. All right, God bless you. You can see the food that we have here. They have, they have meals. It's almost gone. It's almost everything is gone. But we had some real.
waffle, french fries. They got nachos. I mean, they have a lot going on in here today. Doing life. All right, we have the mom. Shalise, can we get a word, Shalise? Can we get a word from you? This is Tripp's birthday party. Tim, let us know that this is his birthday party. Oh, yes, sir. We're just celebrating his life. We are just so glad that he's made it to one year. That's what we're doing. Amen. All right. You heard it from the mom. This is the mama here of Tripp. He's turning one year old today. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> family? It's your boy Tim J, and I'm back in with another banger. Hey, important announcement. You need to be in Sunday school, you know, but it's not really Sunday school. It's life groups. Life groups. Because, see, look, we spend life with each other in our life groups. Today is my baby. It's one-year-old birthday. Say, hey, Trey. Hey Trip, hey Trip. No, he ain't gonna talk right now. But I got life. I got people to spend with him on his birthday. This is what we do here at Bible. We are a life church. I want to know what's wrong with you. You want to know what's wrong with me. We want to be a family, and this is what you do when you get to be in a family. So Sunday school is important. You get to learn to love God. You get to learn to love people, and then guess what? You can do whatever you want. So hey, if you want to get involved, if you want to show up, if you want to come through, come to Bible Way at 4215 or Greenview Drive, and you can experience this as well. Life with one another in the name of the Lord. Well, I'm about to go eat. Y'all see the people. I love y'all. Peace. gentlemen, you have saw uh, our teachers, you have heard tonight from our teachers as well as you've heard from our students, our adult students, as well as our children. But we never like to end our Bible study without going to the Word of God. And I just want to share a couple of scriptures this evening before we close out our time this evening. In 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 15, it's a well familiar verse. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not to be ashamed and rightly dividing the word of truth. The Bible commands us, ladies and gentlemen, to study. This is why we have Sunday school. We have Sunday school to help you to study your Bible. And the Bible says that we should not be a student to show off to one another, but it says really to study to show yourself approved unto God. And so that's why we have to study hard because we're not trying to impress uh, somebody in our Sunday school class. We're not trying to impress somebody outside our Sunday school class. We are trying to get to know God and to get to know God for ourselves in rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, there's a right way to cut up a cake and it's a wrong way to cut up a cake. Sometimes 
you can see people who have started cutting the cake one way, then somebody else coming in and they cut another way and it kind of sliced the, the, the cake uh, in a bad way. A, a, a person could start slicing it where you got equal proportion, but another person come in there and cut a big old slice out, another person come in there and get another big honk or something, and before long they have messed up your pretty cake the way that you had it uh, sliced out. And uh, it's telling us uh, rightly dividing the word truth. So that, that lets us know it's the right way and there's a wrong way to uh, divide the word of truth, how to interpret the Bible. And so Sunday school can help you with learning how to interpret the Bible. Also, over in Titus chapter 2, Titus chapter 2, verses 3 through uh, 6, uh, 3 through 7, it says in verse 3, that the aged women likewise that they be in behavior as become holiness not false accusers not given to much wine teachers of good things that they may teach the younger women to be sober to love their husband to love their children to be discreet chaste keepers at home, good obedience to their own husband, uh, that the word of God be not blaspheming. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptedness and gravity and sincerity. Uh, what this, these scriptures are letting us know they're letting us know that the old women's, they need to teach the young women's. The older men's, they need to teach the younger men's. And that's what you have in Sunday school. You have those who are experienced uh, in the word as well as in deed, in life experience. They are teaching, they are teaching the word of God. And they are showing these young women how to be a woman. And that's what's missing today. What's missing today. Uh, one of the reasons marriages don't stay together is because those young women, they don't have those older women speaking into their lives, telling them to, to stay with it, stay with it. Uh, be a good wife, be a good husband, uh, uh, stay with it. And as a result, they can have a fulfilled marriage and have a wonderful home. But it all is the result of having a good Sunday school. So let me encourage you to come to Sunday school. If you are not a part of one of our life classes, uh, join one of our life classes. We'll put that information up at the close of this particular broadcast. Well, thank you for joining. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I pray for all of those who have joined us tonight uh, for this Bible study. I pray now that you will take this Bible study and use it to bring honor and glory to your name. Even use it to draw people to our life group classes where they say, I want to be a part of what God is doing over there at Bible Way through the life group classes. Now, Lord, bless your people. Bless them with the blessing they stand in need of. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a good night. And we'll see you on Sunday. Oh,